Hi, everybody. Welcome to day 20. We are two thirds of the way there. Uh, I hope what you're getting so far is really helpful. And I always welcome feedback, comments, questions, and let me know how you're going with it. Let me know if you're feeling clearer, if you're getting more clarity on lots of different ways in which you can clear your energy, ways in which you feel like I might still be holding on, uh, any blocks, anything that's happening for you. I'm really keen to kind of chat and, and answer any questions that you have, pop them into the chat boxes below and I can help you out with that if you need it. I will be putting all of this together in a course for you, which will have all of the information all together in one place. I'll be packaging all the meditations up so that you can listen to them separately and give you lots of different bits and pieces to help you with the information at the end. So tune into that when it finally comes out. And today we're going to be talking about essential oils. So essential oils, much like crystals, are really fantastic for various different reasons because they hold vibrations and energies that help us to shift energy. So I'm going to take you some of the really basic ones. I'm not an oils expert. I'm an energy expert. I use my hands and my channeling to clear energy and I will use oils if I need to. And I'm going to give you a list of the oils that I use. Everybody has different oils that they use for different reasons. And I think they can be very, very powerful. So um, I'm trying to think of one of the ones that my daughter used, but I can't remember what it was, but it was pretty amazing. It was a bergamo or something like that. And, and it was really fantastic to help her clear stuck and blocked emotional energy within her body. If I remember it, I'll let you know, but they can be used for all sorts of different reasons. One of my most favorite ones is lavender. Lavender is really fantastic to help calm the nervous system. And much like breath work, much like any of the, other of the techniques that I've given you, Lavender just allows everything to calm and everything to feel really peaceful. You can diffuse it. You can put it on the bottom of your feet. You can put it, um, you know, around here, just under the earlobes. There's lots of different places on the body, different acupuncture points that you can place it. And it really does help to just calm that nervous system and allow energy to start flowing. It helps move from the, from the sympathetic state into the parasympathetic state. One of the other ones that I really like using is peppermint. It creates clarity of thought. It can help to release the sinuses. I really love using it in things. So it's really good also if you've got a lot of inflammation and make sure if you ever take oils internally, if you ever choose to make sure it is food grade. And if it's not food grade, do not be putting it in your food. So always ask the oil manufacturer first before you put anything internal. So peppermint oil, I personally like to take in smoothies and things like that, because if you've got a natural level of inflammation, it does help to calm it down. It brings a beautiful cooling energy in there. And it's also like all of the oils are antifungal, antiviral, antibacterial, and so on and so forth. So always being really careful about how much you use and how you use them, but they can be really helpful to clear heat from the body, especially peppermint. I really like giving peppermint to women who are having menopausal symptoms because it really does help with the hot flushes as well. I like clary sage. Clary sage is a really fantastic one to use for women um, on their moon to place on their back or around their womb just to help with the diffusing of that really swollen energy that can happen and to help energy flowing during that time of the month, especially if you struggle, especially if you feel really clogged up and really tight there. Clary Sage is a really fantastic one to use. So give that a go if you, if you feel really drawn to that. I love lemon or citrus oils. Lemon oil is really fantastic for memory. All of the citrus oils are really, really good for memory. So if you're finding it really hard to allow information to come in and that energy is not flowing for you, citrus oils really help to wake up your brain and help that information to come in and help it to really ground into your body, which is, which is a healthy one. 
I love frankincense as well. Frankincense oil is fantastic, especially if you pop it on the top of your crown. Frankincense is a beautiful one to help open your channel up. So channeling light all the way from source energy, all the way down through your head. If you're struggling to allow that light and that energy to come through frankincense or right on the crown is really, really helpful just to allow energy to move through your body. I like eucalyptus. Eucalyptus, as most people would know, especially if you're from Australia, really good to clear out the sinuses. It's really fantastic for colds. You put a little bit in a, in a you know, hot water bowl and you place the towel over your head and you create like a, a steam bath for your sinuses. Really powerful, but it's also clearing energy as well. So it's not just about the physical, it's also clearing energy around your head and just allowing clarity and movement to happen through there as well. So anything that moves the body also moves the emotion and moves energy. Anything that moves energy moves your emotion and the body. So they're kind of, you can't really separate them while you're embodied in a physical body. But if we've got ones that we are aware of all the three different levels and what it's doing for you, that's even better. Uh, the last one that I'll tell you about is tangerine. I really like tangerine because it helps to allow emotions to flow. And there is a technique where you can just place tangerine oil around the ears and that tangerine allows emotions to flow with ease without them getting blocked anywhere in the body. So you have a lot of emotional points around the ears and putting the tangerine around there really just helps energy to flow as well. So like I said, definitely not an oils expert. It's not something that I've been trained in very much. I've done a little bit here and there, but it's not something that I do on a regular basis. If you want to know more about essential oils, please go learn it. Like I said, just be mindful about where you put it. You've got to keep them away from eyes and, and orifices of any kind. And you have to be really, really mindful about if you're going to take anything internal, ask the manufacturer, but otherwise... They are fantastic for diffusing. I love putting oils on the bottom of the feet. They are really good to kind of put on hankies and just breathe in and just allow yourself to get that smell. Um, I do have a video here somewhere on how to pay attention at school. And I've got a lot of kids that I give this hack to, but basically putting different essential oils on tissues and associating each tissue with a different subject and, and using that smell to retain memory is actually a really powerful process. And I give it to all the HSC or all of the high school students that come in that need to pay attention or need to kind of increase their capacity when they're learning. Essential oils is the bomb. So if you want to know more about that, just put a comment um, in, the, in the comments below and I can give you that information. So clearing energy with oils is really fantastic and it can give you clarity and healing and movement and just an energy flow through the body so if you're not sure why or what you would use essential oils for um, you can have negative energy or lower grade energy around you that has come from you know different people's uh, behavior from toxic energies, keeping a lot of useless junk around you, um, things that have been around for a really long time and haven't been cleaned, um, lots of dirt on the shoes. There's lots of clutter. Usually when you've got clutter and things around you, you're going to have a hell of a lot of energy around you as well. So it is always useful to clean physically and energetically around you. And oils are a really fantastic way to clear the space. So use a diffuser, clear the energy out. You'll see it in lots and lots of different uh, healing spaces. They'll either have a diffuser or they'll let you smell oils or something like that. And it's a really powerful way to just kind of cleanse and clear your field and your cells as well. So have a bit of a go, play with them, see what works for you and help it clear your energy. Okay, I hope that was really helpful. If you've got any other oil suggestions, pop them in the comments, let people know. All right, take care and I will see you tomorrow.